Hello everyone, welcome back again. It's your girl AB World Entertainment. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. Depends on the time you guys are watching me from. Today we want to talk about the first lady of Nigeria, Mrs. Aisha Buhari. For the past five months, our presido wife is nowhere to be found. Some months ago, I still talk about this same story about the president wife which is our first monda in nigeria the first woman in nigeria first lady of nigeria is nowhere to be found for the past five months as i left her since november can reach now after a daughter do a traditional marriage the first lady talks say in they go dubai because say insecurity for nigeria as I they talk to now, ever since they come reach now, where would they talk? The first lady, we never see her. Up to date. In all day country. In all day. Aso rock. So now I can't say, ah, make I bring this video come as I get say, where is our press, uh, first lady? Even the president don't even know where in wife day. Meaning, there is foul play. Something is going on. How can a responsible wife live in husband for five months? Nobody say go do a mugwa with my people. She not go for a mugwa. Nobody say picking bone. Now there you go. As I they talk to now. So the first lady of Nigeria, it don't disappear, enter the thing air. Then they find her, including the husband, will be the first son of Nigeria. You don't know where our first lady did. Since when she told us, say Nigeria not secure again. Say she won't go secure herself for better country. No first lady to cook for the first child of Nigeria, which is President Muhammad Buhari. My people, this one's stronger. I beg anyone will know where our first lady did. May report to any nearest police station. As soon as I do so, I said, Papa God, go to help you now. Go to find all what he una lost because Nigeria lost first lady. So, I know go too take for this video. I will put the video make on here by on myself where our first lady day for the past how many months. To my new subscriber, I say you all are welcome to this platform. To my returning subscriber, may God Almighty bless you all. And to my washer viewers, share, may God bless you all for sharing, for commenting, for I say for everything you are doing to this platform, may God bless you for being a support and a pillar. May you never lost in Jesus' name. May you never run away from your peaceful home. May you never run away from your marriage. If you are a woman. The first lady of Nigeria, man, Aisha Buhari, no missing away from Asorok. Aisha so guys, Buhari, the first lady the and the and wife of the president of the Federal Republic of Nigeria, has been missing from Asorok for five months. The first lady has not been seen in public appearance and perhaps since her last outing in Nigeria. Her last tweet was on November 25th, 2020, and since then, she has stopped tweeting. Rumor has it that she had relocated because of the maltreatment and threat she has been receiving from Buhari's aid. Her disappearance has been linked to the domestic squabbles occurring in the presidential villa, especially the one accompanying her husband, the president. In his recent visit to his hometown, the president was not with his spouse, and the last time the first lady visited Daura with the president was on March 9th. 2019. Well, Mr. Abdullahi, you are the SSA to the President uh, on Media and Publicity Office of the First Lady. So can you tell us, uh, is the wife of the President in the country as we speak? It's not part of what we agreed for me to come and discuss. So let us leave that issue out of the interview, please. The President had decided to remain silent concerning his wife's sudden disappearance. However, since 2016, it was obvious that the first lady was not happy with the way her husband, the president, was running the affairs of the country. During an interview with BBC Hausa Language, the first lady claimed that President Buhari's regime has been hijacked. Wow, the guy, I mean, this is the villa. We have over 200 soldiers guarding us. 200 policemen guarding us. Why do you have to lock this door? What for? What for? Enough is 
is enough. Enough is enough. The camera bomb will be coming at me, and I do my job for the coffin. Let me know when you are leaving this place. Let me know. Enough is enough. That the president did not know 45 out of the 50 people he appointed and neither does she despite being his wife for 27 years mr president retaliated and fired back from germany in presence of angela marco german chancellor mr president said he doesn't know the party his wife belongs to but she belongs to his kitchen and his other room however his comment caused a sudden uproar on social media while sustained a barrier of public ridicule for several months. The first lady further stated in her interview that a lot of people have been coming to give the president directive on how he should run the affairs of the country and she wasn't going to be part of the re-election movement again if it continues. Since then, the first lady had to fight various battles in the presidential villa. In a claim in October, the first lady stated that Garba Shehu used Buhari's media aid to release a viral video in October. In the video, she asked questions and made some comments regarding being blocked out of a particular room in the villa. Before her daughter's wedding on September 2020, Aisha was reported to have left the country for a few months and some claimed that she relocated to Dubai in the United Arab Emirates. If the first lady can run away, then imagine what holds for common Nigerians. The leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, Mazen Namdakano, has allegedly claimed that the man in Asorok is not Buhari, but Jibri from Sudan. If the man in Asorok is Buhari, then things won't be this bad, and the first lady, Aisha Buhari, would not have relocated to Dubai using insecurity as her reason. But I want to clear this part. How sure are you that the person in the Azure Rock is the current person is not President Muhammad Buhari that every Nigerian voted for? So what is your part about this? Because in most of your videos, you seem to be very sure and you keep on repeating it. So I want you to tell us more about how sure are you? All of you know this. Everybody understands this very fact that Buhari is no more. You know that Buhari is dead. Everybody knows. But those still perpetuating this very myth that Buhari is alive are those spinning their hopes on 2023. Now, the question still remains, where is Aisha Buhari and why did she have to disappear from Asorok? All right, guys, and um, that is it for you all. I think the report has said it all, especially with the conclusion that if the first lady can run away, then imagine what holds for common Nigerians. If the first lady can run away from the country because of insecurity, then who then is safe? But the problem is that these people, they keep deceiving themselves. They keep telling us that all is well. Why we know that all is not well? This one, they are using insecurity as a cover-up. This is what they said, I think, sometime last year when this same report came up. When Sarah reporter reported that the first lady uh, ran away from Aso Rock uh, because of uh, insecurity, the aide came out to deny it that no, the first lady went for a medical checkup and she will soon be back. She will soon be back one month, two months, three months. We are talking about five months now. The first lady is nowhere to be found. So what more evidence do you need as a Nigerian to know? that the people in the seat of power are not really uh, the people you think they are and if you look at what so what more evidence do you need as a nigerian to know that the people in the seat of power are not really uh, the people you think they are and if you look at the way things are going in this country these days you know that you don't even need a soothsayer to tell you that we are in a very big mess look at insecurity all over the country 
but these people they feel less consigned so far they are safe in their asura every other person can die is none of their business the other day lai mohammed was interviewed concerning this same crisis of healthmen and what even what shocked me is that these people when you are talking about the situation at hand, they are always looking for something else to cover it up. Lai Mohammed, he was interviewed. I think AIT, AIT interviewed him. And these people were asking him simple question. Ah, these people, these herdsmen, these uh, bandits, they know them. People know them. They are taking pictures with all these northern uh, uh, governors. They see them. They are having meetings with them. This man changed it to IPOB matter. He said you cannot compare bandits with people like uh, with IPOB, with IPOB that are agitating for freedom. So tell me, how does that coronate? You are being asked about how to tackle insecurity and you are talking about another group agitating for their freedom. So a very big confusion in this country and we don't even need anybody to tell us that this country with the way everything are going in the next two years it is true they have about three years or so to finish their tenure but i don't even think that this country will last up to that two, uh, 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 three years that they have if we continue like this things keep getting out of hand every day crisis everywhere now hessmen and if it is not hessmen it is bandits it is boko haram i don't even know what is the difference because the bandit people are killing the boko haram people they are killing even the hessmen they are killing so what is the difference these people, they have the same mission and the same objective. So you can't even separate one from the other. Huh? The first lady has run away because she can no longer handle it. I have never heard this kind of thing in my life before. That a first lady of a country will just disappear oh, for no good reason. So please don't forget to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. It is not compulsory. You must agree with everything I have said today. But you have the right to drop your own opinion on the comment section so i'll be there to read all your comments let me know what you think about the first lady's disappearance and uh, with that i'll say thank you so much for watching like i said before please don't forget to follow us on facebook i'm gonna drop the link on my description box and to you all that watch to this point of this video your love, your support, and effort upon this channel is not taken for granted. Hey, all right, everyone. This is where we end.